Hey guys, in this video I'm going to tell you what Python is actually used for in the real world. So Python is a general purpose programming language created in the 1990s and it's used in a vast array of places such as testing chips at Intel and powering them to running Instagram. So as you can see those two are very different fields but Python is used in both of them extensively. So you might be wondering, so if I study Python, what kind of things can I expect to do and what kind of things can I actually learn? Before I get to what you can actually do with it and what you can learn, Python is a very easy language to learn for one main reason. It's very English-like. So even with people whose English isn't their native language, you'll still have some experience in actually how to program with it. It uses words like not, in, and, which translate very well to how those words are actually used in the actual English language. So it's very easy to learn that way. The syntax, like the actual grammar of the way it's written and how it's used is also very English-like. Obviously, there are going to be some complicated bits with it, just like with any language, but it's very easy to learn. Another reason Python is a great language to learn is because of the libraries and the support it offers. So websites like Stack Overflow and GitHub, Python's been always floating around the top five most popular languages on both of those websites. So obviously you can tell that it's a huge language and a lot of people are definitely contributing to how well it is used. And one other thing about it is with the amount of help that's on there, you don't even need to be well versed in every single thing to build your own program now. And that's pretty much the same with almost every language, because if you don't know something, quickly search it on Google and then find out how to do it. That's how a lot of people do programming. and. Obviously you still need to know programming, how to read it, how to understand it, how to actually do it. But when you don't know something, just go there and learn. So, there are many ways to actually do things with Python programming. There's web development, there's game development, there's artificial intelligence, there's machine learning. There's so much you can do. There's server development as well. I don't know all of those things and that just shows you to the extent of how much of a varied amount of things you can do with Python. You may have one person who's very well versed in Python in their own field and then that person can't actually do anything in anyone else's other Python field. So you've got to be very up to date and very well versed in your own Python field just to get a feel for it. So you may be thinking, what's the demand for Python or any programming language? Well, with all programming languages right now, there's actually a huge influx in demand for them because as you can probably imagine, it's not the most well-supplied job. It's a very highly skilled job. You need highly trained people. And obviously, along with that, they offer crazy high wages. So what can you do with actually Python programming? Pretty much anything. Self-driving cars, artificial intelligence, games, server testing, web development, anything you want to do. And obviously, with the benefit of that comes a lot of money. <laughs> so if you like that video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Tell me anything else you want to find out from anything to do with Python. Go to Instagram and Twitter down below for daily tech news, Python news, programming news. And yeah, until next time, see you in the next video.